This is a monowheel, a mechanical model I've recently assembled. After using it in my last video, some of its parts got damaged so the mechanism has stopped working. So I'll show you how to repair that damage and how you can use these tips for your favorite models that don't work anymore, especially those that include multiple elastic bands. Let's get started and inspect the damage made on this monowheel. At a first glance, it appears that the back wheels move freely. These should actually snap into open position to support the monowheel. This probably means that the rubber bands behind these panels are broken. And on the other side, I noticed that the lock for the back wheels is also missing. It must have fallen off during use. Another thing I discovered is that the rubber bands for the main lock are broken. On both sides. And one of the larger rubber bands inside is broken as well. Luckily, I have some spare parts. I will rebuild the missing lock using the three pieces that form it. And I will be replacing all broken rubber bands. Let's get started. I will begin by detaching the back wheels. And I have to remove the panels to reach the broken rubber bands. If you look closer, you can notice how the elastic bands have deteriorated. The longevity of your rubber bands depends on the temperature in the room and on whether you have a desk by a window or near a source of heat. Now I'm creating a small loop using a rubber band. You need two of these for the back wheels. I will recreate the lock using the spare parts, but first I need to smoothen the edges using a small file. The sliding lock rubs against other pieces, so applying wax will reduce the friction. To assemble the back wheels, I'm going back to the steps provided in the manual. Thank you. 
Now this rubber band is rather difficult to replace, because most of the pieces of the monowheel are already assembled. Because of the tight space, I'm using tweezers to handle the rubber bands. As a next step, I need to remove the big wheel to reach the rubber bands on the inside. One of these rubber bands seems to be broken. I will use a piece of string I have from another model to pull the rubber bands around this axle. Now I have to bring this end to that hook. Before I put it back together, I want to wax the gears one more time to make sure they run smoothly. Now that I'm done with this part, I can begin reassembling the big wheel. The monowheel is as good as new. I hope this video will inspire you to fix some of your favorite models. If you want to see how I build a steampunk monowheel, check out this amazing builds episode.